Calgary continues to break records all across the board. Not only are we reaching price points that we've never seen before, but we're actually breaking records, including housing starts. Our friends from CBC has written this pretty decent article talking about some of the percentage increases that we've seen in the new start construction world. You can see at the very bottom here, row homes increased by 34% from the previous year, while groundbreaking on single detached homes only grew by 2%. So a lot of these affordable product properties are going to come to the market. That plus we're seeing a lot of rezoning conversations here in Calgary. But for now, looking at this chart here, you can see that condos have been on this slow and steady increase for the last 12 to 24 months. My name is Adam Fife, your Calgary Realtor. Every single month I touch on these things and if you're looking at getting into the market, like I say in every other video, you have to do your research well in advance. If you're a buyer, a seller, or an investor, there are opportunities for all of you, but it is very important that you know what you're getting into and making sure that you can pinpoint how you want to get into the market. Being a buyer or a seller, doesn't matter. If you want to have a conversation, the link is in the description. Go ahead and book a call. Now, Townhouses in Calgary have absolutely exploded. We are now at $448,700 for a townhouse, which is an increase of 20% year over year, which equates to $70,000 increase. Month over month, we're still seeing massive increases where we just saw another $12,000 increase. So pretty wild stuff. Now we need to remember that all benchmarks have attributes. These attributes for this specific um, property for Calgary is a two bed, two bath, one half bath, 1160 square foot, built in 2004, um, that's it, that's all. So when you look at benchmark prices, you wanna make sure that you're putting over the attributes just to make sure that you know what you're getting into. Now, this is a quick blurb by the Calgary Real Estate Board. I'm not gonna read it. Go ahead, pause the video, read it yourself, and skip to the next chapter. Now, this chart here, going back to it, is a little deceiving in a sense, because when you look at this chart and you see the increase, but then you look at something like apartments, you can see that the apartment style chart looks a lot more intense than this one. But if you actually look at the price points, you can see that we've increased a pretty dramatic amount. And when you start to look at the sales to, uh, sales to inventory, we have continued to outpace inventory all throughout the year, January, February, March. Now, March, April, May, June, July, August, basically all the way till October, we actually outpaced inventory, which has continued to uh, continue to keep demand there, which is continuing to increase the price point. So I would imagine 2024 is going to see the exact same thing where this chart is going to ever so slightly just increase month over month. Now, this chart here is the exact same information, just in a numerical form. You can see the sales, the uh, new listings in the inventory. The days on market is already 17, okay? Last year, the fastest we saw was in June at 19 days. We are already at 17 days on market, which is clear indicator that 2024 is going to be fairly hectic. You can see that the benchmark price is 448, medium price 465, and the average price is actually all the way up to 480. So really pushing that number up pretty dramatically. So let's look at some of the um, other attributes of this market. So this is the, um, uh, I can't think of it. This is the actual townhouse breakdown for the entire city. So this is a year to date. So this means that this is more or less an average of the year to date stats. A lot of the stuff that we just looked at was from the past month, but this is an average for year to date. So you can see the total sales year to date were up 20%. You can see total sales volume are at 510 million, which is up 45%, which is a huge increase. New listings have increased, luckily, we're up to 1300. The inventory has fallen to about 12% 12, 12 to 306, which is unfortunate, but when you have such an increase in new sales, makes sense. You can see that the months of supply has dropped down to 0.84, which is pretty gnarly. The sales to new listing ratio is 83%, which is quite high. The sales single list price is 102, which is the highest out of all property types. Days on market, the average year to date is 22 days. And then the benchmark price, medium price, and average price are all the exact same from, uh, or no, they're not. Actually, the, the benchmark price will be the same. The median and the average price will be slightly different. So um, year to date averages here, pretty crazy stuff. Now, this is a months of supply or the inventory in a chart. You can see that we're trending down. This is common across the entire city for every single property type, every single quadrant. We're at pretty much record low right now for the amount of inventory or months of supply left in this market. So let's break this down into quadrants. We can start to you know, personalize this for your own, in, um, your own situation. So you can see that a lot of the properties are hovering around that's 0.6 to 0.8, which was very similar to the apartment style 
um, uh, property sector. You can see that even city center is close to one month, which is absolutely gnarly. You can see that everything is moving very, very quickly. Now, this is a overview of the price point. So you can see that there's actually quite a big difference here for the townhouses across the entire city. You can see that city center is at 600,000. You can see that north, northwest, west, and southeast are all hovering around that four, let's say 430, 440. And then you drop all the way down to under 300,000 for East Calgary, which is pretty crazy. So when you look at these, let's make sure to put those attributes into place. So all of these attributes, let's just look at Southeast and South as an example. So even though they have their price point of their benchmark price, you want to put the attributes into play. So Southeast is a two bed, two and a half bath, 1,159 square foot built in 2011. Southeast is a three bed, the three and a uh, two bath, so one full, one half. You can see it's 1,146 square foot, but built in 1981. Massive, massive difference there. But when you actually look at the price points, you can see that they're relatively close. Obviously, you can see that Southeast is more expensive, but when you start to look at the attributes, you can kind of understand why they're looking at newer product compared to a lot of the older stuff in South. So. Um, here's the year over year price growth chart. It's kind of an interesting little chart here to showcase what is actually increased in the city. East has set the record for the entire city for all property types and all quadrants. They saw almost 40% increase from last year. Now, we did see that they are very inexpensive. They're very affordable. So obviously a lot of people flocked to the East to buy those products. You can see that Northeast saw a 30% increase followed by South, which saw a 25% increase. So pretty crazy stuff. Now. For all of you people out there who are curious about what their home is valued, thank you so much for using this software. I really appreciate people going in and actually trusting me to provide them with information. This is a really cool uh, instant AI generated value. When you put in your property and your contact information, it spits you an email within a second. So thank you so much. I'm gonna call and gonna introduce myself. I'm not expecting you to buy. I'm not expecting you to sell. If you are just looking to kick some tires here, just get a kind of an understanding of what's going on in the market, that's totally fine. I'm still gonna call, I'm still gonna say hello. If you have questions, perfect time for you to ask me those questions. So for everyone who's done it so far, thank you. Now, this is the microeconomic breakdown of every single property, or sorry, every single quadrant in the city. So you can see that this is the sales, the new listings, the sales to new listings ratio. So we've got a couple in the 90s there. You can see a lot of them are hanging around the 80%, which is still pretty active. You can see that this is the inventory or the amount of homes left over at the end of the month. Um, quite a few actually are very similar to one another. You can see uh, city center, northeast, south and southeast, all roughly within that same frame there. You can see that this is the months of supply. You can see that um, there's, it's actually quite crazy. You can see that north as well as west are at 0.6. Right? So that's very, very fast. That's a very fast moving market, meaning a lot of things will get soaked up really quickly if no new buyers come to the market, no new sellers come to the market, everything is gonna get sucked, soaked up in just over two weeks. Right? Very intense market. This is the benchmark prices. It's still crazy to see that East Calgary is $284,000. Okay, Very affordable still, but when you look at the, um, when you look at the numbers there, it's very low sales, only 12 sales, 16 new listings. So they actually had an increase in inventory up to nine, right? There's a four, four home difference there. This is the year over year price growth. Again, you can see that 40% increase in East, which is going to probably double again this uh, coming year. You can see that this is the month over month. And then finally, this is the uh, numerical values for the month over month stats so you can see that i have also included last month here so if you actually add a lot of these in you can see quite a few of them over twenty thousand dollars increase in the last 60 days and i would imagine that's going to stay fairly consistent all throughout the year so when you look at places like uh calgary west you can see that they had an eighteen thousand dollar increase northeast saw a sixteen thousand dollar increase in one month so we are seeing a lot of activity in these quadrants so if you're planning on getting into it just make sure that you understand what you're getting into now where's this market going obviously we're going to see some increases in 2024. i would imagine even with this new rezoning change we're not going to see the effects of that rezoning for at least a year and a half if that rezoning does get pushed through, which I talk about every single month, I would imagine that developers are going to acquire land and then develop on it, which is going to take a year. So by this time next year, we could start to see a little bit more of an increase in the inventory, but for 2024 at least, I would imagine we're going to see some pretty gnarly increases throughout the entire year. So if you have any questions, 
go ahead and comment them below. I really appreciate the people that take the time and ask you know, thought-provoking questions. I will reply to them in a timely manner and I'll actually put some thought into my reply and make sure to answer them to the best of my ability. So thank you very much. We'll see you on the next one. Peace.